Hello everyone, I'm Erica Pitsy for jackcotton.com and I'm here with luxury real estate expert, author, and agent Jack Cotton himself. And we are on the final installment of seven steps to breaking into luxury real estate. And this is the big one, get it sold, tell the world. Get it sold and tell the world, absolutely. We got it listed, what a battle, we got it listed. <laughs> uh, we got it at the right price, the right fee, the right amount of time, now we need to get it sold. Brochures are huge, very important in the high end. Here's the thing. This is a secret I'm going to share right now. Ooh. Yep. Most buyers of luxury homes are hiding in plain sight. Mm. I would say that 85 to 90 percent, and you can do this when you do your market mapping or to step number one. If you research where every single buyer came from in the last two years, over a million dollars, for example, or over five million dollars, for example, you will find that every single one of them had a connection to some person who's already there. Therefore, Having collateral material you can send to other people who are already there is critically important. A great brochure is a good start. We actually do hardcover brochures as well. And now we've started doing 24-page magazine brochures for a house, for one house. Wow. It's, it's a really great presentation, but it's a great thing to send around to the neighbors because they know who the next person is going to be. Very few people parachute in to a $9 million house and buy that house without any people connection to the area. So I don't care if it's a second home market or a primary home market, the higher you go in price range, the more often you'll find a people connection. Something great to send them is critical, and that would be a brochure. To get a great brochure, you've got to have great photography. You've got to have a really good camera. You've got to have a person who really knows how to work with a really good camera. Right. We have a phenomenal photographer. She's got, in fact, that's her camera. Anyway, um, and, and she knows every button, every dial, every readout, everything that camera does. And that's critical to getting a great shot. And we know what makes the eyes of a buyer light up and they look at the properties online. So we help capture the lead photo by looking through the lens and the cover shot to make sure it's the perfect shot. And we always tell the seller that that's important to uh, separate ourselves from the competition. Print advertising, this is really going by the wayside. Think about this. I mean, just even imagine older people, you know, you know, honey, I think it's time to buy a house on the Cape. Great, I'll run out and get a paper. They don't do that. That doesn't happen anymore. No, they pull out, even old people, they pull out an iPad, they start looking online. So print is important, but guess what print is important for? It's for finding other sellers. You're not really going to find that many buyers with print, but you will find other sellers because that's where all the sellers go to look to see what's going on in the marketplace. <clears throat> I call this word of mouse. Yeah, you have to be online. People want to see it now. They want to see everything there is. So marketing online is critically important. Because even if they've got people connection, even if they got the brochure, the web address is on the brochure so they can see more and more about the listing. Video um, quality, we talked about this before. The quality of the video, the bar is being raised all the time. No more stitched together pictures and call that a video. It's got to be great. Three minutes is ideal. Two and a half to three minutes is ideal. Try to tell a story in the video. Aside from this is the living room, this is the kitchen, this is the bathroom. People tend to know rooms even from a video they can that you know that is a kitchen I'm pretty sure I, I know that's a kitchen so find a way to convey a story or have some action in the video like we were talking before whether it's like something very unique or distinct within the kitchen or whether it's yeah. a historical perspective on the property something right. interesting makes the piece stand out right now Jeff who's videotaping this videotapes our houses too and we make him crazy because we're putting GoPros on cars we're putting GoPros on boats we're doing everything to sort of capture the story of the listing so people can imagine themselves there and not just be giving a dry recitation of what's in the house so Convey a story, tell a story. That's an important part of video. Direct mail, again, we're mailing to the people who are already there. And that's where you're going to find 85% of your buyers in the high end. So people say to me all the time, can I really do this? Can I really become a luxury real estate expert? Can I really sell multi-million dollar homes in my marketplace? And my answer is, yeah, you can. The only impediment is up here. They're all people. They're actually very nice people. They only care about results. They want results. If you can provide results, they will love you. So just follow the seven steps. Create your processes. Fix your mindset. Convince yourself that you can do this. Just start executing the seven steps, and you'll be well on your way. Execute, execute, execute. And figure out a way to take the negativity that comes with, well, this is my first time, this is my first time, make it into the positive. Turn it around. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Absolutely. And 
You should probably start with advice from Jack Cotton. Absolutely. Yeah, That's you what got we that think. Right. <laughs> all right. And you can find all seven steps from this series of how to break into luxury real estate on luxuryrealestateunplugged.com.